All right, welcome back. Uh, this is Shanks playing some more Fallout New Vegas. Let's see. I have to ensure that I load the right one. We were in Doc Mitchell's house. I'm sure there's probably a way I can name my saves so I don't accidentally mess up and download the wrong ones. Or not download, but you know, load up the wrong ones. Because I am playing a little bit of this to uh, just because I love it. I'm, there's not really even a reason. Just playing it because I can and because I want to. Alright, so I, if I remember correctly, we are working on getting our friend Ringo some help. Uh, he's been cornered by a bunch of the Powder Gangers, which are a roving gang of criminals who use explosives, and they are after our friend. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, XP. So I'm somewhat close to leveling up, which I want to do so that I can use the barter skill to get Chet. Um, just because I really enjoy going the extra mile. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of exploration prior to wrapping up the Ringo quest. And I, I looked it up to see if there was an actual um, run button, and it claims that left shift is my run button which if I hold makes me move far slower so until I can figure out what that's all about we're going to be moving at exactly this speed I'm going to head uh, out to that giant metal plus sign in the distance oh I see some puppers Uh oh. There we go. Uh, yeah. Take all. Kind of need to be very careful because uh, with my <laughs> want to grab absolutely everything, it will eventually fuck me over. We have a lot of 10 millimeter ammo. Let's put that to use. I have to say, I don't find the graphics in this to be all that bad, considering how old the game is. What is that? Just more rocks. Check this out, and then I want to check out this little bunker over here. The wonderful thing about having not played this in so long is that I've actually managed to forget a lot about what's going on. The Yanks Memorial. Okay. I hear puppies. Peace. Uh, there we go. Make sure there's no loot. Oh, I see something over here. A, a dead ass dude for one, but uh, okay. So there's actually a lot of good stuff. Let's take this. I am for now gonna avoid picking up most of like the junk stuff. A laser RCW. That sounds amazing. Um, just because uh, we don't really have a lot of the crafting stuff, we come back and get a lot of this later. But we we're playing the, the hard mode where everything weighs at least a little bit, including our ammo. So yeah, we gotta we gotta play it very careful with what all we pick up, or we're gonna be screwed. I did not mean to drop whatever that was. Um, I already have a 10 millimeter pistol. I'm probably not going to need this. Waste three pounds. Let's look. Let's look at our miss real fast. I'm just going to drop some stuff out of this. I know that I can sell it and get a little bit of money out of it, but it's mostly just about uh, function right now, right? Cool. Alright, what is this? It's kind of shaped almost like a, a small hangar. Just an abandoned shack. I love that they've basically, like, they make something out of everything in this game. Like, um, Fallout 3, I believe, they, they took and made an entire, like, city basically out of uh, nothing more 
than fallen airplane scraps, which is is awesome. I just I love creativity and stuff like this. Um, uh, sure, it's extra healing. Box of detergent. I didn't really need that, I guess. Lad's life. I guess I need to make sure I keep up with my water and everything, because I we we. We're set up with the uh, hardcore mode where we actually have to drink, which I don't typically do. So every now and then I'm just going to check this stuff because I really don't know if it's going to tell me or I'm going to have to worry about that. Could probably drop these gecko hides. All right. Weird ass noise, but whatever. Uh, that should be the graveyard. Cool. No, I don't actually... Oh, he, he has noticed me. Whew. I don't... Ow! Oh, this sucks. I need something that hits a whole lot harder than this little pistol if I'm gonna get out of this one, but not blow myself up. Uh, this does a decent amount of damage. It sucks. I want to use my explosives, but he is like right on me. Uh, aid. I didn't even see him come up, honestly. Uh, try to save our water. Just use a stim pack, I guess. I'm already down. Oh, there's multiple. Oh, that's a rock. Okay. Uh, in order to heal a crippled limb, you have three choices. Sleep in a bed, find a doctor, use a stim pack to heal yourself. In hardcore mode, you may only heal crippled limbs by using doctor's bags or visiting a doctor. That's fucking... That's pretty metal. Oh, that has a far wider uh, reach than I thought it would. Do I have a doctor's bag on there? I have, yes. Oh! Oh no. Why am I moving so slow? Am I, yeah, I'm over encumbered by a little bit. Uh, fuck it, uh, if we eat this. That'll give us a little bit. And now I have to try to get distance from this guy. Oh, that one's not dead. Oh, that one's not dead. I thought it was a little mysterious that I don't think I'd gotten any XP. Oh, this is not the best thing to have happened to me. Uh, healing powder. Where's that bitter drink? And let me get a stem pack. Oh god, if he hits me a single time. God, I need something to decrease the uh, amount of damage I take from my own explosives. Alright. Well, we got what we wanted, and I guess that's all that really matters. <laughs> we wanted... Uh, Determines the ease of disarming any hostile mines and the effectiveness of sending explosives you use. So my explosives actually do a decent amount of damage, which is good. But uh, we need to worry about our barter, because basically the deal was we didn't have enough. I think we needed 30. If uh, if that isn't enough, then fuck it, we just won't get Chet's help. Um, put a few points into science. A couple points into... Well, I guess I should probably increase my survivability here, right? Um, medicine, replenish, speech, survival. Hit points you receive from food and drink, it also helps you create consumable items. No. I'm definitely not going unarmed. Let's let's put it into we'll put one point 
and explosives, another point into that, and we'll use our last point on uh, just good old fashioned guns. You need to be careful. It's dangerous out. Here. You're fucking telling me, Victor. How did you know I was in trouble? Yeah, I can smell trouble in my own way. Not to be offensive, you have no nose. Um Yeah, I mean it's about exactly what I said. Have I mentioned that? A few times, it's kinda creepy. If you were a person, I would assume you were like a a boy toucher. Uh, what do you want from me? I saved your life, so I kind of feel responsible for you is all. I've never understood that. Uh, you save someone's life and then you feel responsible for them? Like... I would... Okay. Whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you showed up randomly. Did I not use a doctor's kit? I thought I did. Uh, status... My condition... Cool. So, we're going to need to stock up on doctor's bags. That's not something I'm used to. Uh, if you haven't played before, uh, usually you can use the stem packs, right? Which are not, like, mega common to just get, like, a ton of. But, like, you run into them way more than you run into doctor's bags. There's something over there. And as long as it's not a big-ass fucking scorpion, we'll be fine. Oof. That hurts the eyes. Nah, it's a dog. Probably need to save all my explosives. Let's swap back to something a little less... that. Um, need to get shotgun shells if possible. Go back to using our pistol. I kind of feel bad. He didn't even react. Oh, there's more. Should probably head back into town, considering I'm out of inventory space. It says there's something else over here, but I'm not seeing it. Oh. I'm getting a little better with the accuracy on PC, so that's good. Uh, not too many games that I play require you to be like accurate as far as like distance other than I guess seven days in this so I suppose the more that I play each the the better I'll get all right we should be able to go to talk to Chet I should have the the bartering uh, magazine and we can wrap up this and get a whole big bunch of XP for it and maybe some resources and I need to talk to Chad anyway, because he's the he's the traitor around here. With a with a D, not traitor. As in an asshole. I mean he kinda is, because he lives in the town that they're all about to fuck up and he's still like money. What is it? It is Salesman Weekly. I wanna save it so I can actually no. see if it is thirty. If it's gonna be like thirty five or some shit then. Some supplies? Uh need supplies to this fight. Man. Like I said. Okay, so you need 25. That's not bad at all. I don't know why I didn't just use the salesman last time. Uh, okay, salesman weekly. You looking to buy some supplies? Let them take over the town, then I'm sure your business will be much better off. That's literally what I'm pitching right now. You made your point. I can provide people with some left, and uh, I'll be guarding the. God. I get it, right? Like, you're supposed to kind of, like, look out for you and yours, um, especially in the apocalypse. Probably not going to use the 9mm. Uh, cure animal poison. And that could be handy, considering there are, like, uh, almost like cockroaches. What the hell am I thinking? I mean, there are, but uh, there are roaches. Or Fuck, I said it again. Um... Scorpions. Just had to take a second. Uh, there's scorpions all over the damn place, so... I mean... I want to keep at least one melee weapon that away if I do run into the situation where I have, like, nothing left. Uh, I got plenty of 
food and water. I guess this can't be used for anything, but it's also not sellable or weighs anything. Nope. I don't have a flamer yet, so they can have that. Mm, I'll be fine. Jesus, that's a lightweight metal armor? 20 pounds? I want to keep some heavy and some light just in case I get to the situation where it's like... Uh, I'm either taking a whole lot of damage and I need to just swap or something, you know? Do, 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 do. Hundreds by the dozen, millions by the score. I I love 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 old music. Um, that's why I think that's one of the reasons why I like Fallout so much. I also loved uh, what is it? Uh, the Mafia games, like Mafia One, Mafia Two. I wasn't super in love with Mafia Three. I don't know if it's because like you you play a game, uh, and it's kind of like. You 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 remember things wrong, like differently, right? And so when they try to make new stuff, maybe you're not feeling it because you're like, ah, oh, this isn't exactly what I used to play, which it shouldn't be. Uh, I'm not really interested in the weapons that he has. I am interested in maybe he has doctor's bags, and I think I'm all right on stem packs. But do you have ammunition? So I'm gonna need shotgun shells. 20 gauge, 30 buck, GRAs. Sure. I take the slugs, but I'm kind of into the fact that the shotguns have a spread, which is unlike. Another satisfied customer. Yep. Appreciate you, man. You're good. You're good, man. Yeah, I, I go for a shotgun for like the spread and the damage, not necessarily for uh, accuracy, which you'd be getting with a slug, because if that was the case, then I'd try to find a sniper rifle, which I will probably use later on. I have mentioned it in the first video of this, which obviously this is video two, uh, but I do have all the DLCs, which you can get all, you can get Fallout New Vegas and all the DLCs so on Steam on? for 20 bucks right now. Uh, all right, completed. Return to Ringo and let him know when you're ready. All right, I think we got everybody. I got. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. Super convenient. They're getting set up in cover, but it might not go well unless. We... All right. Oh, easy. Pete came through with the. Okay, so I'll we did get me. Pete. Cool. And our guys won't die as quickly because they have the armor and the weapons and bullets and all that stuff. Chet, it's good to go. Uh, but yeah, so I do have all the DLCs. They are all available on Steam right now for pretty decent price, uh, along with the base game. And I am excited to play like Old World Blues and some of the other DLCs that I just I love absolutely. They were hilarious. Corn cob! Oh wow. <laughs> I feel like I killed less than like everybody else. I've left a poor impression on the powder gangers. Well, they are wanton criminals, so I don't feel all that bad about it. Uh, you can take the powder ganger uh, armor. That's like a really neat function they did in this game. But you can actually take their armors and stuff, and it'll allow you to not be immediately attacked uh, on site. Alright, so he paid us. 
Uh, I'm not gonna be a dick I'll about it. For a bit longer, but I'll be gone. Cool. Uh, wow. Ran everybody with a uh, baseball bat. Not the best idea I'm sure this dude has ever had. But uh, yeah, so you can wear uh, different groupings armors if they have them. Uh, and it will prevent enemies from attacking you on site. However, I'm groupings that, that they are against, nice so for instance if I dressed up like Powder Gangers and then I walked into the town of Good Springs, these people would attack me, but the Powder Gangers wouldn't. Even if like these people love me. I want to check what she has for sale. We're probably going to be stepping out of Good Springs after this. So, okay, she just has food, which is fine. I mean, she runs the saloon. Cool. But I'm not going to be doing that, at least for the Powder Gangers, because it's good early XP to just murder a lot of Powder Gangers. Give me all that. Give me that dynamite. I keep accidentally clicking A. I don't know why, but I do love the gear, so I'm gonna take it anyway. Let's see. There's something over here that we haven't found. Two things. We'll just do a little exploring. I'm not like in a huge rush. If uh, you know, I start getting like comments or anything like that about oh you know get back to like the main stuff sure but like i'm not in a rush for it it's part of the reason why i love these games oh that's a lot oh it's a little one oh, i feel really bad about that nothing about that felt good the good springs cave sorry buddy it's really unfortunate, but you were made out of XP, and I'm gonna need it. Alright. Let's see what this is all about. As long as this is just coyotes in here, that'll be fine. Anything bigger than a coyote, and I'm probably gonna shit my bridges. Um. I honestly want to just be like blaring the music in this game. What the fuck is that? I just watched like something splash over here. Oh, it's body parts. Oh, actually, this is a really good time if I can do it really quickly. Cool. To just kind of like pop that off and get a lot in one shot. Yeah, typically I'd just be blaring all sorts of uh, Fallout 76, or er, Fallout 76, Jesus. I was just talking about it earlier. So much hope, and yet so much of a letdown. I didn't, I didn't mind it up to a point. Uh, some of the stuff got repetitive in it, and like early game, it was just it was unplayable. It was uh, it was to the degree that I remember I gave it a shot because it was like a slow week. Uh, my wife Rissa was interested in trying it out, and I was like, well, I'm not gonna buy two copies of it. So if you'll let me check it out beforehand and see if it's worth anything, if I don't like it, I'll just give you my copy, and if I do like it, then we can go ahead and get. Uh, two copies of it, but I remember playing it uh, I was climbing up the hill there was like a little metal building at the top uh, full of like super mutants, right? Which in the game uh, It's you know, it basically plays like any MMO where you just run into random encounters and stuff and Just because they're super mutants don't mean they're like ridiculously hard or anything like that It's just based off their level so, was taking on the super mutants, not a big deal, and then I just started taking damage for no reason. Like, none. There were no enemies shooting at me. Uh, I wasn't, like, poisoned, or that's a giant fucking demon hole right there. Kind of reminds me of the hole off the forest. Um, but yeah, just took damage for no reason, and I was, like, trying to heal, but I kept dying, and... 
So after that, I stopped playing it for a long, long time, but then they released some patches, and I started playing it again for a little while until it felt really repetitive. They have, like, the world quests and stuff like that that you can do that are kind of fun and stuff like that, but if you play Fallout for the legitimate Fallout feel, the whole uh, wide-open exploration with, like, beautiful, like, filled-out maps and you know, interesting characters and stuff like that, then from what I have played a Fallout New or Fallout, I guess, uh, Fallout 76, it might not be for you. Now, if you just, I like, enjoy the idea of wandering through the desolate wastes and kind of, like, carving out a life for yourself, and you don't play it like it's a, a true blue uh, Fallout game, then you might enjoy it. So that's that's the open and close of that for me. I mean, it, I would say it's almost comparable to Elder Scrolls Online, if you've ever played that. Uh, a friend and I were playing it yesterday, uh, and it's a great game. I love it. Uh, it's a really wonderful, fleshed-out MMO with like a lot of different options and stuff. But if you're playing it like it's an, like an actual Elder Scrolls game, like they kind of like retconned a lot of the... Uh, the information, the history and stuff of like the Elder Scrolls series. So if you're just like a true blue fan of that stuff, then first of all, there's a gambler in this uh, refrigerator. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to have found when that went off. I'm hoping so. Super weird. Okay. So I do remember one of these paths lead us to another set of quests, and the other path will kind of fuck us over, right? Prem, Las Vegas, and jeans? I don't know. We're gonna head that way though, because there's a fucking roller coaster over there, and if that doesn't scream fun times, I don't know what does. Okay, got a ham radio. Ooh, is that a fucking eyeball? No, it's a key. Oh. Wow. Bullets. Caps. Always down for some money. Ooh. I'm glad I didn't buy that. Uh, that's kind of nice. It only weighs a pound? Or one weight, I guess. I They don't really specify what the pound, kilogram, you know. Personally, you know, Americano, I'm going to go with the Freedom Units. Oh, powder gangers. I'm detected. Aren't I, like, vilified by this community? Don't they attack on sight? Damn. Running low on smokes again. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. <sighs> so, I think killing you guys gives me positive karma. And also, EXP, so... Um, let's just... Wow! I just like shot his friend to death and he's like, man, running low on smokes. Oh, come on. I'm stealing from, like, criminals. That should be fine. You should be able to steal from criminals. It's not bad if you steal from the bad guys. But I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna, I, I can take it out of a box, and that's bad. I take it off of a corpse that I killed, and they're like, Oh yeah, no, that's completely fine. As a matter of fact, we 
fucking think that's the best thing for you to do. I want to make sure I don't miss anything, like, super interesting. It's always, like, hidden little nuggets of gear in games like these. And I want it all. Alright, there's going to be a few people over here. They think they are good with explosives. Oh, bro, I just took your leg. Cool. I'm, I'm going to apologize for anyone that likes to play this game in sneaky fashion. That's not really how I go about it. Does Vats detect mines or no? Not many patrols out here lately, which means not much loot. Our crew is thinking we should make a move soon. Follow the tracks up north and head towards the Strip. You in? Ain't on the chain gang anymore, but we still gotta stick together. A little criminal mind uh, you know, mentality. Honestly, uh, it'd be kinda cool to be a raider. It would be, like, obviously morally bankrupt, but, I mean, come on. It'd be kind of cool to be a raider. So it's it's not like I don't get it. I, I still want the dynamite. I took everything, didn't I? Bad habit. Not what I'm trying to do. What do we got? Alright, not going to need that. Blue, blue, blue. Pack of cigarettes. There's something special about the star caps. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's almost like a uh, fucking Borderlands type deal where there's like a big ass uh, chest of goodies out there somewhere and I need to find it. Alright, that weighs a decent amount. I really don't care about your powder ganger stuff. I don't need two varmint rifles. And we're we're back into a decent enough state that I can continue with my my very meticulous looting. Uh, I will always take the daboos. God, these people are slobs. Can I go in here? No, and now I'm stuck? Really? <laughs> that's... That's not awesome at all. Uh, I, I hate that I had to do that, but... That happens in games like these. At least it let me teleport out. If it hadn't let me teleport out, I'd actually been a little upset about that. Oh yeah, so we were, we were talking a little bit about uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Which, speaking of, if anyone does play that game and they are looking for a new clan to join... Uh, a friend and I had just made a new little guild. Uh, I know it's probably like super trashy to be like, uh, anybody want to join my guild using a Twitch channel, but uh, hell, I need numbers. Uh, it's really hard for me to kill blowflies. Not because I have like a moral deal against killing blowflies, just because... It's physically hard for me to kill blowflies. They're so disgusting. Ugh. Hey, buddy. He just kind of stood there. Menacingly. Nah, I need to slow down on the monster parts. Sure. Guess a couple of those. Oh. Dude, you were tearing ass. Good for him. Oh my god, really? I must be blind, because I swear it looked like I was lined up pretty much perfectly on that. He just killed that rat roach, didn't he? Do 
know rad roaches, or not rad roaches, uh, but roaches themselves, you can milk a roach, and apparently their milk is actually really high in protein. Oh, you're a big one. You sound like a dude. Dude. Oof. I keep incidentally firing another shot with high hopes that, like, it'll exit the vats thing. Alright, NCR. I honestly don't really have much of an opinion on the NCR. I know that I like them more than I like, say, the fucking slavers in the game. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Uh, Viva La Revolution. Um, Convicts from the prison okay. the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. You gonna... It's kind of super shitty that you're going to be like, oh, we'd love to help them. Unfortunately, they don't fall under our jurisdiction. Like, really? I guess you can't save everyone. First of all. Howdy. <laughs> what are you doing here? A random prospector hanging out in the military camp? Yeah, it's like, your whole goal is to basically protect people, right? If you're going to be protecting people, why does it matter that they're not technically your jurisdiction? G granted, I understand the whole we don't have the resources thing. That makes sense. We're in the fucking apocalypse. You're Sergeant McGee. And Sierra Trupa. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army. I... Okay, so I'm, I'm sorry I'm kind of like flipping through all of this stuff kind of quickly uh, in regards to what he's talking about. The the gist is, if I remember correctly, uh, criminals, the powder gangers, taking over this town. Uh, the criminals were being held by these guys, and they fucked up because who the hell gives criminals dynamite? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. I'm trying to get some reinforcements. Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. They got organized. Thankfully, the small group. All right. So, yeah. Uh, I don't have to do this. It's not like a part of the main storyline or anything like that. But it is good for XP and it's good for looting and all that stuff. And it, you know, hopefully, it'll make for an interesting little spout here, but I am definitely gonna... Okay, I see you, mine. Uh, bloop. The guy over there in that little guard tower is probably like, wow, he's literally taking apart all of our defenses right now. Okay, so there's building over here. That I could probably go into over there. And I'm sure this place is just probably crawling with enemies. I I remember this area a little bit. So this is the deputy's place. Okay. I don't really want to steal. Uh, just because, obviously, I mean, there's not a whole awful lot of repercussion for stealing. Other than everyone just trying to kill you. But if you're stronger than... But basically everybody, it's just a cheap way of getting resources really, really fast. So. Ew. What the, the fuck was that? Oh. Oh. I must have forgot about this because I definitely don't remember two people with missing heads. Ugh. I mean, you've never looked better. Um, yeah, there's like, e even as much as I've played this game, there's little things that I just never did or didn't think about doing. Like, I don't think I've ever actually went inside the sheriff's house. 
Loading bench. Cool. Whatever. I don't think there's too awful much in here, and I can't access that, so. Yep. Good indicator you're not my friend, huh? Where the fuck's that guy running to? Wow. <laughs> you're gonna attack me and then you're gonna crouch? Like, oh man, you know, actually, I didn't think this out that well. Uh, bloop. Cool. And hit E that time instead of A by preventing myself from getting absolutely wrecked on inventory space. Cool. Actually, where are we sitting on inventory space? Alright. Anything else and we're going to be full. I think, if I remember correctly, this is a little casino and there's a dude in here that sells stuff. I don't know what it was brought you to... I'm a trader primarily. For what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a courier. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. Okay. I'll tell you whatever I can. If you have a delivery order, you can show me. Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. So my whole thing is that they clearly didn't tell any of the other like people, like, oh shit, by the way, uh, things might be a little fucky with this package order. Okay, so I'm just asking them about... Uh, well, for that, your best bet is going since they can't asking them about the guys that shot me in the head at the start of the game. So Sure. He just said that I have to go and save the deputy from this town who's been taken in by these criminals. So 40 mil, 5 mil, 9 mil. I'm not really looking to really sell any of my ammo. Keep that. Okay, so the cases don't actually weigh anything. That's good, at least. I probably don't need that much dynamite. Probably about half of it'll do. And the one said, ain't that a kick in the head? Alright. Um... So that gives me a little bit. I don't remember who to... I'm pretty sure it's like one of the uh, Brotherhood of Steel people take the pre-war books. Money is a different thing, though. They can, they can have the money. Yeah, I actually don't drink the alcohol in this game. I mean, I know it gives you little bits of bon like bonuses and stuff. But mostly I just sell it because it's usually worth a Bye. decent little amount of money. All right, back to the action. We'll explore this location a little later, but we need to go in here and get our deputy friend out of a whole mess of trouble. Um, I'll keep using this 10 millimeter. That way, I don't use all my shotgun shells right off the right off the bat. Cool. Uh, okay, not what I wanted to do. I'm just trying to search, man. Leave me alone. Take that, take that. Let me get. Sure, why not? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Swift Learner, Comprehension, you gain double the bonus, no. You gain two more skill points every time you advance early on. Yep. Cool stuff. Basically setting ourselves up for success later on down the road. It's not mega helpful to me, like, immediately, but it, it'll become helpful. Alright, so that's a hard lock with an easy terminal. 
That can go. Do 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 do. I'm just kind of eyeballing it real fast. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's probably more that I just can't see cause the way the fonts are. Okay, let's see. Nope. It won't be anything with ING on the end. Nope. There we go. Okay, maintenance key. Sure, I don't know why those syringes sell like hotcakes, so I'll take that. Level 50? Why is easy like, no, well, I guess it goes up in 25s. I was actually about to be a little upset. Try not to pick up too many weapons unless they're actually going to help me out. Bro, I gotta take dead harmonica. Give me. Uh, da, 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 da. So, what is my lock picking skill at? I know I literally just put it in, but uh, okay. I'll have to do better with that. Uh, no reading books is going to help me by 20. Not right now, anyway. I apologize if anybody gets tired of seeing me just absolutely loot everything, but that is what this game is all about. Damn it. I'm really feeling like I probably should have invested heavier into lockpicking rather than the, uh, the hacking. Book. Book. I just, I know somebody buys these. I don't remember who. Again pretty certain it's some Brotherhood of Steel person, but I know they pay decently well. And let's be honest, everybody plays this game for the power armor. Maybe not just the power armor, but you're in it for the power armor, whether you know it or not. Alright, I already have a 10 millimeter. Not gonna need that. Okay, you use different ammo so I can keep one of those. Silence 22. Something has to be, like, glaringly heavy. Other than the books. I'm not losing the books. Reading may be for nerds, but uh, it's also for me. Nah, not worth it. Key ring. That shit's really heavy. There we go. Good to go. Good as new. Does the elevator work? Okay. So I'm not... A repair expert this time around, so that's going to be something else to deal with. Cool. We already found two of the uh, star caps. Oh. And boom. Neat. And I'm pretty sure I saw a whole lot of people in that other room. Wow, that doesn't go far at all, huh? Whoa, bro, that's... It's a flamethrower, those things are dangerous. Nice. Cool. Uh, no, I don't really need that. I will help you, but the uh, the loot is calling me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna walk out of here just absolutely weighed down, and it's gonna be fine. That is a whole ass cow. Ooh. 
load of shit. Pilot light. Nah. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You are the worst deputy. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Mm. Indeed, I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. <sighs> That's gonna fail. I don't think I have anything. I'll, I'll tell him to stay put for now. Uh, and hopefully I've got something to boost my speech. Let's run from the top down. Doctor's bag. That's survival. Nope. Alright, well, shit. We're gonna have to like give up that little bit of an XP bonus that we would have gotten. Oh, that's just marvelous. There we go. If you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. I didn't cut you loose so you could run away. Stick with me. So, the thing is, if I keep him with me, I'll get the XP bonus, but there's a decent chance he'll die. But, I'm gonna go over the XP. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnap. I think, though, I can also... I do hope this ordeal will be over soon. Maybe I can send him anyway. He will take weapon, wait here. Whatever. Alright. Penny nuts, scrawl stick, dirty water. God damn. I need to increase carry weight. Like yesterday. Just eat some of this food. Cool. How did that. Why did my carry weight go down? I must have did something that, like, boosted my strength or something. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to need that. That can go. Straight razor can go. I kind of want to just sell the shotgun. I don't know why I didn't sell a lot of these weapons earlier. Ah, damn it. Still. Still too much. I'm sorry, harmonica. I gotta go. Screw it. I'll just drop the shotgun. Ugh. I didn't want to do it. I really didn't. Let's just walk this man out of here. I'll come back and explore this. I just want to make sure he doesn't die. Oh yeah, no. Just take your time, man. Absolutely. Probably put this away before I accidentally kill somebody, though. Hey there. Well, that was quite an event. Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. <laughs> Problem is, there's still no law in print. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Hmm. So, can you tell me about the checker man in the suit? What are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. What are your qualifications for a sheriff? Uh, so we've already talked to him a little bit about this, but we need ah, to finish yes. it up. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Hello again. I don't suppose... Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Well, the chain of command also works that if someone at the top of the command is, like, gone, you move up the chain. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, what are the qualifications? brave like you, but more of a homebody. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure what. 
All right, so there are actually three options for the uh, sheriff position in uh, Prim. So we can either go free uh, an ex-sheriff from a prison. We can uh, go and convince the NCR that this would be better to be underneath their protection. Or we can go ahead and that robot right there... Uh, if you have a high enough science skill, you can actually hack him, reprogram him, and turn him into the sheriff. Now, while that's fun for a little boost of XP, and it's neat to see like your skills play out, and it makes things a lot easier, uh, it's not as fun to do as actually busting a sheriff out of a convict-controlled prison, which is kind of like a really weird and interesting role reversal. So, we're going to be busting the sheriff out. Um, I need to sell stuff to this guy, because my looting capability has went way down. Uh, I'm not really using the 357 Magnum Revolver, and hopefully I'll find another one. And I'm not really getting a whole lot of ammo for it right now, either. The jingle, jingle, jingle. Coyote meat. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm going to keep the incinerator. It's extremely, like, not worth it just by how much it weighs. But uh, it's still happening. I'm still going to keep it. Mines are good and all, but they weigh a lot. I'm going to need you to give me something to make it worth the fact that I'm giving you all of this. Dynamite? No, 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 no. What do you have? What's What's good that you personally have? You have boxing times for unarmed. I'm probably never going to do unarmed. I'll take that, though. A lot of times I need speech. Take that. Take your sim pack. There we go. Uh, got this lightweight metal armor. I'm not even wearing it. And I can get some stuff out of that. Hopefully. Miscellaneous, ammo. Take some of these grenades off your hand. Maybe more. Jesus. You owed me a lot of money. Cool. Another satisfied customer. Cool. Bye. Howdy. So Typically, I like to like linger in an area like this and just kind of go through it and get everything knocked out like 100%. Um, but I understand that's not exactly the most exciting thing to watch. We still need to clear out this casino, though. I'm sure there's like plenty of good loot in here, considering we've just killed up to the point that we found the deputy and got him the hell out of there so he didn't die. Like the weak-willed little man he is. Uh... Oof. I apologize, it's kind of dark in this game. Ooh, food. I mean, I don't know why there was bubble gum and pills in the Edematronic. Someone should probably tell these people that you don't actually eat pills unless you have a very big problem. Okay. Hey, buddy. Shot through the heart, and you're too late. Okay. Yeah, I know how to lockpick. Okay, stem pack. Scrap that I'm sure will be very critical, and I'll kick myself for not grabbing it later, but also weighs a lot. Bloom. Uh. God, this game is dark. I want to turn up the, uh, you know, like the gamma settings and everything, but I'm also afraid it'll kind of remove some of the f the feel, you know. Cool. Take that. I really don't want your. Like she just asked me if I like that. The fuck is it? It's like twins. Oh my god. 
you guys all quite literally just kind of like popped out of the woodwork on that one. Oof, hold up. Bunch of stupid idiots all in one row. Oh, well, you're not in a row anymore, are you? Oh, son of a bitch. What do you mean, who's there? You literally heard me shooting your friends. Unless you were, like, the most deaf guy in the history of ever. Um, okay. Let's take a stem pack or two. Stats. Bam. 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 Before I break that other arm. I'm pretty sure there's like a skill or something that you can get, or like a trait that you can do that'll actually make it so that- oh, son of a bitch. That'll actually make it so your like, limbs don't break as often. Alright. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, because my limbs are breaking like they're made out of, like, dry noodle. Stash money in a dresser. Not the worst idea. Yeah, been there before. Whiskey in the, whiskey in the toilet. And in the sink. People are getting ritzy. Alright. So... That is going to be where we are going to call it for our Fallout playthrough for today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or videos like these, uh, be sure to tune into some of my other streams. I stream a different game every single day except for Sunday. Uh, and if you are interested in knowing what I'm going to be playing and when I'm going to be playing it, a, there's a schedule up right there, and B, if you follow my Twitter at the Real X Shanks and Stab, I put up every day what I'll be playing and the exact time, Eastern Standard Time, that I'll be playing it. Uh, if you missed a video in the series of something that you're watching and maybe Twitch has already deleted it, I also take and post my videos up every day onto my YouTube channel at X Shanks and Stab X. Um, I did, it, I did it semi recently, so if you're watching a series and maybe it doesn't go that far back, I apologize. Uh, but I am trying to regularly update and set out me, my streams up to uh, YouTube. Uh, Monday, I'm playing Seven Days to Die. If you've never heard of it, it's a zombie apocalypse survival game where you have to craft and build up defenses to not die. Uh, it's first person and it's open world and it's a real fun game to play. Uh, Tuesday is Subnautica, the uh, alien ocean survival game. I This is the first time I've ever played Subnautica, so I still don't know a whole lot about it. Uh, so forgive me if I do some really stupid stuff in it, but I'm I'm giving it a shot. Wednesday, Dark Souls 3. I'm awful, awful, awful at Dark Souls 3. I died to the Crystal Sage like five times last time. But sometimes people like watching me rage. So if you want to watch that, tune in on Wednesday for Dark Souls 3. Thursday, Don't Starve Together. Me and my wife, Rissa Beast, both play uh, Don't Starve Together. And we actually had a viewer play with us the other day. It was really fun. So... If you want to tune in or you have Don't Starve Together, uh, you can join us in our open world. Uh, it's a little two-dimensional crafting survival game. It's really fun. Obviously, Friday is Fallout New Vegas, and Saturday is Mystery Day. So, Mystery Day is a day that I'll take to play games that aren't on the list, or maybe challenges from these games uh, that people might enjoy watching. So for example, our last day was the Seven Days to Die Blood Moon Challenge. It's a horde night every single night. Uh, we made it to day two and it's uh, starting to get a little hairy. So again, I want to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again tomorrow for the next stream. I haven't exactly decided what I'm doing for Mystery Day yet. I'm thinking probably a continuation of the Blood Moon Challenge. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing, be sure to keep an eye out on my Twitter uh, and tune in. So Thanks, and I hope to see you in the next video.